Hello and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing two stamp sets that are the perfect basic. They really go along with all of your other stamp sets and that is Happy 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 for its sentiments and then Bannertastic for a great way to showcase those sentiments. And then we also have our new standalone die Scripty Happy too. First up we have Happy 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 and of course this set comes with three big styles of happy that are so cute and I love that they're really different from each other. Then there's also a little teeny happy and then all of these sentiments to go along with it. So we have happy birthday and then to you. We have lots of sort of general holidays like Mother's Day and Father's Day. We also have things like anniversary, graduation, holidays, which is nice in general too. Then we've got wedding. We have happy thoughts, which I really like that one. Happy everything, which goes along with everything. We have happy wishes. And then day, so you could do graduation day or wedding day. And then we have you make me happy. And then we have do a, uh, and then happy dance. We also have wishing, so you can say wishing you and then we've got the A also, A happy, and then you could insert something there. And then we also have sending happy wishes and also for you. We've got happy mail, which is really fun for the outside of envelopes, a little and sign, and then also a nice little smiley face. And of course, exclamation points in two sizes to add to the ends of your phrases. Now here is Bannertastic, and Bannertastic has three different styles of banners, and I just love them. They are so gorgeous. And then it comes with all of these solid versions of the banners. So here you can see that first style in the solid version. And then there's these little triangles that fill in the back part to add a little shadow. So I like to stamp these twice in the same ink color just to make it a darker color to give that shadow to the background. Now here is this middle piece in which you can add these two different styles of ends, so you can see those there. And these can either create a solid banner on their own or they can fill in the other banners, which I'll show you soon. Now I'm going to stamp that middle piece again, but now use two different styles of ends. And in this case, I'm going to stamp them in a lighter color so that that way there's some kind of variation between them. Now here I'm going to be showing you how you can color in your banners with these solid stamps. And I'm going to be using my Misty tool because I find it easier to line it up this way. So I'm going to stamp that one right over and then I'm going to do those little, little triangles there. I'm going to double stamp them both in the ends there and by stubble stamping you can see they're a little bit darker and now here I'm also going to line up the piece in my misty and stamp in some sunflower ink and I'm going to double stamp it to make it nice and bold and then I'm going to take some butter ink I'm going to line up those two extra pieces pick them up and then stamp it with butter ink which is a nice light yellow and I love that contrast I think these look so cool stamped in with the solid images and then I'm going to repeat the same thing for my last one here. I'm going to double stamp again to get a nice bold purple and then I'll stamp those other ones just once for the nice lighter color. And so you can see that there's three different styles that you can get from this one set. Now here are the coordinating dies for happy happy happy. You can bend them apart at the tabs or use your wire snips to separate them. I'm going to line them up with my images there and cut them out and I love that you can cut out these words. I think they look so cool when they're cut out and it really adds for some cool dimensional things you can do with sentiments. And then here are the dies for Bannertastic. And so you can bend those apart again or separate them with your wire snips. And then I'm going to line that up right there with my stamped image and run those through my die cut machine. You can see just how cool they look. The other thing that you can do is die cut them first and then line up your solid stamps. And this is a much easier way to do it with the solid stamps. So I'm going to stamp those directly onto my die cut image and you can see how cool those look. I really like this banner here. I just think it looks really cool without the black line around it. It's really a fun look. And so here you can see all three different styles all die cut too. They're just so fun. They're awesome. I'm going to add a little shading with my warm gray markers here to my banner. And I love doing this on just a white banner because I feel like it gives it a little extra something. And so you can see I'm blending out that gray there into the middle of the banner with a colorless blender so that it sort of fades out into nothing, but it really gives it a three-dimensional look, which I think adds a lot to the plain white banner. And then here I also wanted to show you the Scripty Happy die all cut out. I just love this happy. It's a great addition to all of our other Scripty words. 
Next, I'm gonna be recreating a card by Shari. She said I could make it for this video and it's such a fun card. And so I've got my mermaid, sugar plum, guava, and sunflower cardstocks. And I'm gonna take my anti-static tool here, my powder tool, and run it all over my cardstock so that my embossing powder won't stick anywhere but to the sticky Versamark ink that I'm stamping with. And then I'm gonna put some white heat embossing powder on all of the three different styles of the happies that I can die cut. So I'm gonna stamp all of those, get that white heat embossing powder on there, and then I'm gonna be able to heat them up with my heat gun. And heat embossing is one of my favorite things to do because it's really nice and simple, but it adds so much to a card, especially when you die cut these. I think it looks even cooler when they are all heat embossed and shiny and smooth. Now I'm gonna use the Scripty Happy Die and cut that from the sunflower cardstock. Now I'm gonna line up all of those dies and get those cut so that I'm gonna be able to layer all of these onto my card too. And once I get these all cut, I'm also going to work with the new zigzag stackables. And I love this cool zigzag detail. And I'm going to also cut the coordinating stitch rectangle from it. And I love the white on white look. I think it looks awesome. And then here's some perfectly plaid rainbow paper that I'm going to die cut with the five and a half by four and a quarter stitch rectangle. I'll be creating a card base of the same size. And then I'll be able to layer that gorgeous candy buttons paper right on top. And then I'm going to put some foam tape on that zigzag rectangle and more foam tape on the white stitch rectangle there and by adding foam tape between those two the little shadow looks really cool with the white on white. Now here I'm layering all of my happies onto that stitch rectangle there and I'm just going to be using some liquid glue and tracing that on the back of all of the letters and I'm using liquid glue that way I have a little wiggle room so I can make sure that they're nice and straight with the liquid glue on there I can kind of move them around and get them in the perfect position. Now here I'm going to add some yellow stickles onto my Scripty Happy and I just love that awesome glittery look and you can see how cool this card is. Now one of my favorite things about this card design is that you could put any sentiment from Happy 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 on the inside and it could work for any holiday. So I'm actually going to go ahead and leave that card blank and then when I need it I'm going to add my rest of my sentiment inside which is really cool. I think I need to make a ton of those to have them ready for everything. Now here I've gone ahead and stamped my little happy there again in Versamark on some black licorice cardstock and I'm heating up that white heat embossing powder and I'm going to die cut it to get a nice bold happy sentiment. Then next I'm going to stamp this banner here from Bannertastic and I'm actually going to color it just like I did with the, um, the warm grays but instead with light aquas. And once again I'm going from my darkest to my medium to my lightest and then once I get to the lightest I'm using my colorless blender to help me blend out into nothing. And I think it looks really really cool with the aquas just like it did with those warm grays. I'm going to die cut out that banner and then you'll see how cool that happy is going to look right across that banner. I think it looks awesome. Now here I have some guava cardstock that I'm going to cut with a scalloped rectangle stackable and then I'm going to cut a stitch rectangle to coordinate with it. And now I'm going to be using fab flowers to create my own pattern paper. Now this card design is another card design by Shari that is just was so beautiful and I love this pattern paper that she made and I really love creating patterns like this. There's something really relaxing about it. So I'm stamping my bigger flowers first and then filling in my inside with some of my smaller flowers, adding those cute little details from fab flowers to all of these cute little garden here that we're creating and then I'm going to keep filling everything in with all of my different colors and now I'm going to fill in more area with some of those leaves. So I'm going to stamp all of the leaves in celery stick and then add the little details to the leaves with the freshly cut grass and I love that this two layer stamping set ends up, ends up looking so cute and so pretty as a pattern paper. And then to fill up any white space, I'm going to stamp this heart from Bicycle Built for Two in some guava ink. And I love that those hearts are so cute and it fills in the rest of the pattern. So now I can go ahead and layer it on that coordinating cardstock. And then I'm going to double stamp my Mother's Day sentiment from Happy 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 in black licorice ink so that it's nice and bold across that busy pattern. And then I can layer my banner right on top and then add the little happy to that. And I think this is such a cool card. I love the black on top of that nice pastel pattern. Now, Shari had a nice shimmery paper for her background. So I decided to spray some of the shimmer mist onto my paper and I love how pretty it's looking already. It's nice and shimmery and sparkly. I'm gonna dry it with my heat gun and then create a standard size card base. And I'm gonna layer that shimmery paper right on top. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and layer this whole pattern paper on top of that. And that little shimmer just adds a little something, and it was kind of fun to use my shimmer sprays outside of the holidays, which I tend to use them only for Christmas. And then here is a look at the two cards today, and a look at some awesome cards from the design team. So I love how well it matches with a bunch of different stamp sets like Elena's card. Or here you can create your own card just with Happy Happy like Letitia. I just love how Audrey filled her sky with the awesome happy, happy, happy sentiments. This card by Kristen is so beautiful. I love that watercolor look to the flowers. Lynette created such a sweet Mother's Day card. I love the butterfly on there too. And this is such a simple and fun and easy to reproduce birthday card by Lizzie. I just love it. And then Elise created a really cute birthday card. I love how she added all of those different images from lots of fun different Lawn Fawn sets. Scripty Happy is perfect for titles and layouts, just like Melissa's there. And then Yanea's Easter card is so sweet. I love those bunnies in the grass. And then here, this You Make Me Happy with the Black Butterfly. I just love this color combo by Jess. And then I love how Lynette put the Scripty Happy with Out of This World. I think it looks awesome. So I cannot wait to see what you guys do with these awesome and fun stamp sets. So make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.